Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to View and then to Slide Master. Then I will scroll up and click on the first slide. And now any changes I make to this slide will be applied to all of these slides in my presentation. At the bottom here, I have the date and then I have a footer. And at the end here, this symbol represents the slide number. And I want to make changes to these. So I'm going to go to insert and then click on header and footer. And I will tick the box for slide number. Then I'll tick the box for footer. And I want for this to be my name. Then I'll also tick the box for date and time but I don't actually want to show the date and time. So I'm going to change this to fixed. And then in here, I will change it to Monday Seminar B. And then I will tick the box at the bottom for don't show on title slide and then apply to all. Now I want to see how this looks on my actual presentation. So I'll go back to slide master and then close master view. And now here in my presentation, at the bottom I have Monday seminar B and then my name and then the slide number. Now I want to make some more changes. So I'll go back to view and slide master. And I'll scroll up to the top and select the first slide again. And this time I'll click and drag to select all of the text boxes at the bottom and go to home and I'll increase the font size and then also change the font to blue. Then I'll select the title and change this to blue as well and then select the main text and I want to change the bullet points. So I will go to bullets and numbering and then customize. And I'll select this triangle here. And I've made another video about changing the bullet points in a PowerPoint. So you can watch that if you want more information. And OK. Then I'll change the color to blue. And these triangles are quite large. So I'll change the size to 90% and OK. Now I want to see how this looks in my actual presentation. So I'll go to slide master and close master view. And now we can see the changes that I have made have been applied to my actual slides. Now I'll go back to view and slide master. And this time I will click on this slide here, which is the title and content layout slide. And in my presentation, this is all of the slides from two to four. And so this time I'm going to make changes to this slide. I'm going to take the title and I'm going to make it smaller because I don't think it needs that much room. And then I'll have more room for my content. Then I will go to insert and I will insert a line. And I'll hold down shift while I draw this line so that it is straight. Then I'll format this line so I will make it wider. And then I'll change it to a gradient to make it more interesting. I'll change the direction to linear left. And then I'll remove the gradient stops in the middle. And I'll change this gradient stop to be a light blue and make this one a darker blue. Now I will take this line and I will copy it and I'll drag it down here. So I have a line separating my main text from my footer. And I don't want this one to be as wide. So I'll make this 1.5. Then we'll close this and I'll go to slide master and close master view again. So I can see how this looks on my actual presentation. Now I also want for all of my content slides to have a logo. 
So I'm going to copy this image here and then go back to View and Slide Master. And again, I will click on the content slide here and then paste in my logo. And I'll make this smaller and then put it in the corner here. Then I'll close the master view. And now you can see that all of my content slides have a logo in the corner. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to use Slide Master to make your presentations look more professional. And that is everything.